Yay! Okay, I'm working now. <laughs> Hi guys! Happy Saturday. I thought I'd jump on, mostly because I was ready and I was like, you know what? Let's jump on, say hello to everyone. And then I thought I had my box of tampons back here. So I was like, well, we gotta move those out of the live video. <laughs> so as you are jumping on, make sure you say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. Um, I wanna talk a little bit about what I did in 2018 that really helped me scale. And I know it's 2019 now, but I feel the need to share these things as I've been reflecting, kind of planning in the new year, doing all the things. So I was like, let me jump on today and share this with you guys. So it's been a crazy wild ride and it's been so fun to just kind of see everything grow, see everything snowball. And I actually gave this analogy to one of my clients the other day. I'm like, think about when you're like starting your business or you're really growing momentum or you're trying to get to that next level. It literally is like a snowball. If you start with the one piece and the hardest part at first is like trying to pack that snowball together because you're like grabbing all the snow. You don't know if it's sticking. Hi, 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 hi. Um, <clears throat> and so as you're like trying to pack all the snow and putting everything together, it's hard because you're trying to get it to stick. And then once you start getting like that rolling and that moving and you're trying to make like a snowman, for example, or like a bigger ball, like there's so much more consistency and so much more of that growth and that effort. And once it starts moving, hi Lisa, um, it starts to really go. Hi Annie, hi Mary, hi everyone. Um, so as it keeps going and growing and growing, it was like, holy shit, like there's, you know, so much um, like growth and things that start to stick with it. Yes, the snowman, I'm giving the snowman example. Hi, Kathy. Um, and it's wild, right? It's like so crazy to think about like once you start to get that momentum and things start moving, then things start are able, you're able to have that consistency within it. And I've been building my business online for a couple years now. And this past year, there were so many things that really started to click and things that were starting that I was starting to realize. And for me, I am very like strategy brain. I, you know, love to plan things. And I was realizing that so much I had operated so much of my business in strategy mode for years and years and years and I really wasn't allowing myself to like have fun and enjoy things and play and bring that in hi Bridget um so as I was like building this year it's like he's just you know eating dinner I told everybody when they jumped on I was like I realized for a hot second I was like I have a box of tampons sitting behind me so we moved those because you know those don't look good in the in the screen um but I was realizing I'm like I was not having fun in my business like so like this time last year and this time this year I like I am like two different humans for one thing because I really was allowing myself to like elevate and step into who I needed to be hi Melissa hi mom <laughs> um, and as I was like really growing and elevating and looking at back at the year I was realizing so many different things I'm like wow my business grew like 300% but really the person I became in that process is what brought that in and usually when we think about things that we were able to call into our business we're like oh this is what I did this is what was able to come in and all the things but it's really about the person that you are that attracts those things to come in and for me this whole past year I was really diving deeper into everything in my life and my relationships and my business because how we show up for one thing we show up for most things and when I had that moment that I really realized that and was like damn like something needs to change because at this rate I'm gonna keep like stressing myself out and I look at you know the the impact and the income and everything and it, it really blows my mind but I it was funny um in my mastermind group uh that I run I showed the girls that are inside of there um one of my like first live videos that I did in like 2015 I think that's when my video came out 2016 and I like watched it again today and I'm like oh my goodness like so much can change in a year like I said my income like went up 300% in the past year the relationships that I was able to build the person I was able to to become like so much can change in a year so much can change in a month like so much can really just decide to be you know to, to be different and to quantum shift within all this which is what really what was happening and I used a lot of the the moments in my life that maybe weren't the most ideal situation that I could have been in you know I went through a breakup of being in a relationship for six years and I also went through some other different things like personally with my health and my business and uh, making changes and all of that and I'm like okay I have two options I can either use this like you know these big moments to either stop me or allow me to block or I can decide that I'm gonna use this as my biggest 
breakthrough, my biggest shift, and allow things to be so, so different. And that's really what I took into this year because it was the biggest year that I've that I've had. And I really decided, you know what, this is the year of tapping in. Last year was really the year of tapping into more of that like feminine flow. So like less hustle, like less stress, less try needing to do something always in my business because it's really easy when you run a business, you're passionate about it. Like you want to work on it 24 seven, but then there's like this need of needing to be there all the time for it. And like needing to work until 10 o'clock at night or like trying to like send a message and doing something all the time with it. And I know for me at the beginning of last year, I, I felt that way. I was like, I have to be doing something always. If, if I had a Saturday or a Sunday, I was like, I need to be like working on something. And there was so many times where I was just working on something just to work on something. And I wasn't being productive with it. So I really kind of was like, how can I do less but have more of an impact and allow myself to really be in alignment and take inspired action rather than just keeping myself busy thinking that that was going to make me feel enough or feel successful. And I did so much work on like the overachiever in, in me who needed to always be doing something, who needed to always be accomplishing something. And I connected so much of my worth to that. Like that was the person that I've been for, I'm going to be 28 years old this year, like that was a person that I was for so, so long, was the person that needed to always be doing something, always achieving something, always going to that next level, that I was so focused on like, what's next, what's next, what's next, whether that was life, business, relationships, all the things. I have a very futuristic mindset, which is great, but I also realized I was never living in the moment with anything. I wasn't celebrating myself, I wasn't giving myself credit, I wasn't allowing myself to have fun and play. Like I built the business that I built to be able to have fun, to be able to play and something that was huge for me this year was really tapping into like celebration and really allowing myself to like look back at every single month be in the moment you know have an interaction do something for myself um, let a client have success and like owning that and celebrating it and when I started doing this in the beginning of last year it was the most awkward fucking thing I could have ever done because I you know would be working with a coach and they'd be like yeah you have to celebrate and I'm like woohoo like yeah did it okay and what's next and then the more that I it was like you know like a muscle like the more that you use it the more that you engage with it the easier it becomes for that just to be like the new normal and for that to be second nature but that was so hard for me because I was like oh I can't celebrate like I didn't get to the level that I needed to get to yet or I'm not quite there yet or you know like focusing on everything that hadn't come yet instead of everything that had you know, had come and, and to really own that and to really be like, give myself a pat on the back. Cause I, I, that was something that I never ever did. And so for me that this year, like going back through something I do consistently with my clients is like, okay, like what have you accomplished? What are you celebrating? Use the celebration muscle. Yeah, because we we are very, as entrepreneurs, like we're very futuristic. We're very focused on like what's next. We have these creative, inspiring brains that want to do 8 million different things, but we have to own it and we have to allow ourselves to like, you know, give ourselves a pat on the back. Like if you've ever worked in a corporate world or um, like I used to work full time in education and we would do like performance reviews. So you'd be able to like kind of list out your accomplishments and you would maybe get an award. Like when you're an entrepreneur, like no one's going to give you that pat on the back unless you're working with a coach and but honestly like you have to be able to do, to do it for yourself first and something for me that I also realized was I I'd love to seek that out from other people but the moment that I was able to start doing it for myself and give that for myself first like things really start to grow and I can still take that in from other people but like we have to go first and everything that we want to happen with us everything that we want to happen in our business everything that we want to happen in a relationship friendships whatever that might be like we have to go first. And when I say like I, you know, as I was shifting things and I was wanting things to, you know, to be different and to, you know, really enjoy my life, I allowed myself to take the inspired action and I still get shit done. I'm just, there's not like that like hustle, like need to do something, like scarce energy behind it. So I really lessened the grip on my business and allowed things to be more easy um, as far as like free flowing. Um, and I'm still doing all the different things that I need to do to move my business forward. Like that inspired action is still there, but it's not like life or death or that I'm not enough or that I'm not doing something when I'm not doing something, having that play, having that fun from like a mindset standpoint, like those were some of the things for me this year that were so helpful. And it's way more fun running a business that way rather than needing to be like stressed or whatever it might be. So 
those were a few things like healing my relationship around money and the beliefs that I had, um, really tapping into that. I've done that for about like a year and a half now, but this year was really um, going like one step deeper with all of it and understanding it so much more and the connection that it had to a lot of different things in my life. Um, but I allowed that to be a big piece of it. And also like from like a strategy standpoint, just some other things to kind of share with you guys, like how I was running my business and the way that I was showing up for things changed a lot in this past year too. Like I allowed launching and, um, you know, putting different programs out there to be way more fun. I branded everything. I did photo shoots. I you know, um, was able to launch something from it feeling really, really good and knowing that it was uh, from like a soulful place and being able to give it a brand, being able to give it this whole life and allowing to really embody the, my brand as myself and not looking at as it, not looking at my business as this like separate entity. And so when you're able to embody your brand, it's the same thing that your clients are able to do too. Like they're able to look at, you know, your, your branding, your program, and they like see themselves within there and you know like that goes back to getting really clear on like the person that you're serving what they're struggling with where they want to go kind of those like pain and pleasure points but when I when I'm like you know planning for a photo shoot planning for a program I know where my clients are at because I've been there for one but I'm like what can they like where where do they want to go? How can I lead them there? And when I'm planning out a program and I'm launching, how can I make it super fun and speak to them and get them to be like, hey, this is where we're going to go and we're going to go in this together. And they feel that excitement. They feel that energy when they look at the photos and the branding and they see themselves in there. They see what's possible. So using that as well in everything that I was doing was one way more fun. Two, I was able to connect with so many more people. And the person that I was in that is what, what changed everything. It's not that I just started doing branding and I just started doing launching this way and whatever that might be. It was the person that I was that did the things that was able to have that shift. Um, and I, again, I talked about this in one of my masterminds um, today too. It's, we don't bring in the the thing, we, bring, we are the person that brings in the thing. So it's like if you have an accomplishment, if you have something that um, you know comes to you, it's not the thing that came to you, it's because you're being the person that does the things and the person that has the things. Hi Alex. Um, yeah, so it's a game changer. It's like we realize when we're attracting people or we're attracting a situation or whatever it is, like we are the person that then attracts that in. And so if we go first, if we are leading ourselves in that way, you know, we have to look back inwards and understand like that's a different reflection of us and what do we need to learn in that situation. Um, and the last thing, I kind of talked about this a little bit, but like the money beliefs, but really tapping into that receiving energy. Um, this past year, I started doing a little bit of this at the end of 20. 17 but going into 2018 is where it really really elevated and I understood my connection with being able to receive a compliment being able to receive a pat on the back being able to receive you know money being able to receive in relationships all of that is so so huge and I say this quite often but it's like if you you know um, are blocking to receive in I don't know, a compliment, honestly, or help at the grocery store. Like, how do you expect to receive a larger sum of money if it's hard for you just to receive those sorts of things in the day-to-day? -day? Or if it's hard for you to receive if somebody offers you help or if they offer you support or whatever that looks like, or even on the flip side of that, if it's hard for you to ask for that or you feel the need to say sorry or you, need to, um, you have the need to justify when you do need help with something or there's a lot of, like, anxiety or stress around it like all of that in your life and in the day-to-day -day and in the things that you might think are the little things are really the big things that might be blocking you from getting to that next place that you need to go into your business and once you really start connecting that and you start tapping into that a lot more it, it really starts like flourish and you see it and you elevate it and you feel differently around it because you feel so much more at peace I think for like my last thing that I want to share with you guys, like that was a big thing that I had to really um, step into this year too, was trusting myself more and allowing myself to have peace around things, not stressing, not focusing on like what if on the negative side, but focusing on like what if on the positive side and like what if this does all work out rather than like, oh, no one's going to sign up, no one's going to do this, what if everything fails, like what if I... I don't know, lose my apartment, like whatever like thought belief that I would tell myself, 
I had to like reprogram myself to think of the positive side and not to say that I don't have bad days because I do and I feel into them but it's about how long I was letting those bad days those bad moments those thoughts or whatever it might be sit because if it was sitting and it was like festering and there was you know thoughts and I was staying in there or I was constantly thinking about that then I was bringing more of that in we'll attract more of that if we keep saying those things keep thinking those things so I allowed myself to really shift in those moments and think on the opposite side of everything not like the worst case scenario but like what if everything does work out what if this is amazing and again as those things started to come in like tapping into that celebration letting it be fun and just really owning that things are can be completely different in a year if you allow yourself to really own like where you need to go but yeah that feminine flow and allowing it just to be fun and tapping into more of that pleasure and receiving huge things that allowed me to really elevate everything um in 2018 and, and keep seeing that expansion so i hope that that was helpful for you guys just to understand like what can really happen in a year when you're consistent, when you take action, when you also don't run your business out of like this masculine hustle, 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 go, 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 do, do energy. Again, I'm all about showing up, doing the work, but there's not that lack mindset when I'm doing it. It's because it feels empowered. It feels good. And I, you know, I launch things when things feel good. I launch things out of excitement, out of pleasure, out of celebration. And it makes such a world of difference in your life and your business because that's also interconnected. So thanks guys um, for jumping on. I think it's raining in California, which is uh, not great. Um, but I'm gonna go hang out. I'm excited. If you guys saw my Instagram story, I do have a pretty exciting, like more personal announcement um, that I'll be sharing with you guys soon. Just something fun, um, changing some things up in my life, and I'm excited to share them with you all. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you for jumping on. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and cheers to water, cheers to 2019. Um, so many amazing things are about to happen like really tap into this like vortex that opens in the new year and all like the high vibe energy that you feel like be aware of the conscious decisions that you have to make for things to be different so if you're normally one way about something and you know you want to be different in the new year about it then take that action from that place of being like okay like I know I'm usually like not organized and now I'm gonna be organized like these are the steps I need to take if you're usually like stressing out about money saying like I'm broke or I'm poor or I can't do this or this isn't for me then like look at it in the more positive sense of like how can I make this happen like if there's something that you want to do if there's something that's like on your heart if there's something you want to take action around if there's a business that you want to build if there's a program that you want to launch like now is the time to do it like run with that energy and learn from it grow from it every single day and allow yourself to put yourself out there because that is how you learn and that's how you're able to take in everything so all right i'm actually gonna leave now so i love you guys i'll talk to you soon have a good night and goodbye